hope you all are well. Now, as you can probably tell, I don't have any makeup on today, and that is because today I will be using only Primark makeup to create a full face. I'm slightly nervous about this because I don't think I've ever bought makeup from Primark before. I'm not too sure. I probably have done in the past, but I have never created a full face using Primark makeup. I just want to put it out there that my skin isn't in the best condition right now. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you'll know that already because I have been sharing my skin journey as I do actually suffer with acne. If you guys feel like I look a little bit rough, that is why. Also, just putting it out there that I have faked hands and I haven't faked on my face just because I didn't want to irritate my spots anymore. So that's why the colour difference is a little bit off. I am going to use a slightly dark foundation today just to match with my neck. So yeah, let's get into the video and I will show you all what I bought from Primark. Okay guys, we have a really, well it's not that big of a bag, but it is filled with loads of Primark makeup. I have tried to buy one of each of everything to test out. There was a lot of eyeshadow palettes, so I only picked up one and a couple of single eyeshadows, but I will show you guys as we go along what I have picked up, how much it was, and what I think of it. And at the end, I will rate my overall makeup look. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, I will also update you on if it has affected my skin, cause I don't know about you guys, but if I tend to buy a cheaper base product, like foundation, primer, concealer, it tends to bring me out in spots. That's why I usually tend to go for brands such as NARS or MAC, but I'm all for trying new things. So I will update you guys on my Instagram if anything that does happen with my skin. Okay guys, so I'm kind of just gonna pop everything out on the, oh. Hi Blue! Okay guys, I'm kind of just gonna pour everything out onto my desk and I'm gonna show you as I go along what I'm using. So I bought a lighter shade foundation and like a, what I would use. And this is kind of a shade that I would usually go for. I always, always, always go for a yellow undertoned makeup. I just think it goes well with fake tan a lot better, if that makes sense. I did actually buy myself a primer. So we're going to start with a primer. This was actually one of the brands that were featured in Primark, but it wasn't actually a Primark exclusive. This was originally meant to be £8.50 and it is reduced down to £4. It is the Golden Rose Makeup Primer, mattifying and pore minimizing so and pore minimizing silky smooth matte finish primer admittedly i don't actually use primer i have used primer before it doesn't work well with my skin i'm just gonna pump some onto the back of my hand see what it's looking like okay so it doesn't really smell of anything it's just like a white cream if you guys can see that i don't usually put primer on with a brush i'm just gonna put it on with my hands because i don't actually have that many brushes so it is very Thick. All I'll say, guys, is it does feel really thick and gloopy. Okay, this is a pore mattifying primer, so I'm gonna make sure to get it in the places where I feel like my pores are more visible, which is like on my nose, the bridge of my nose, and just under my eyes, and also my chin. Okay, the next thing I would do is... The next thing I would do for my makeup is usually my brows and then I would conceal my brows. Now I had a little bit of trouble finding a concealer so I actually picked up a contour stick. For my brows, I actually picked up a another little bargain. This is the same brand as the primer and again this was in the sale. It was originally £6.50. It was knocked down to £3 which I think is really good. Oh! It comes with a little mini brush and spoolie and some mini little tweezers. I don't know how many shades this actually comes in. I just picked up the first one I could find. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to brush up my brows. Hopefully the pri- Oh, I just stabbed myself in the eye. I'm actually going to go in with the gel, which is this one here. It's like a medium brown. Okay, guys. I'm just going to go in with small brush strokes. I don't even think it's doing anything. Oh think this is making it look worse. We're gonna leave the brows there and we're gonna go in with a bit of concealer, see if we can, you know, magic things up. So we're going in with the concealer stick and this is going to be impossible to open also. Right guys, this is open and it is not looking good. It is not a light shade whatsoever. In fact, it looks light on camera, but it's just not light. Right, I'm gonna go in with the spoolie again, guys. Aww. Right, it's not that bad, it's not that bad. We're gonna attempt to do the other brow. I'm going in with the square flat brush, whatever you wanna call it. For now, these brows are gonna have to do, and then we'll give them a bit of life. Like 
later on. Next, I am gonna go in with eyeshadow just because usually I wouldn't go in with eyeshadow, but I'm gonna go in with eyeshadow today because I'm gonna do a crazy look for you guys. I actually picked up this really, really beautiful, it's like, oh, what do they call this? Tortoise shell? Tortoise shell, if it is that, if it isn't that, you can have a good laugh at me. This was six pounds for a full eyeshadow palette, 10 shades, they're really beautiful. I also picked up two single matte eyeshadows. These were 90 pence, you can actually buy, there's a whole bunch of shades of these, but yeah, I just picked them up in case these wasn't any good. Let's just go in with the orange colour. This is really, really pigmented. Blend that out. I always like to go in with the light, uh, the darkest shade and blend that out so that I don't actually know what I'm saying right now, so just ignore me. This is actually a really nice colour. I've not had a colour like this on my eyes in quite some time. And I'm just going to bring this along and up. Right, guys, I'm going to do the other eye now. Okay. Wow. I'm just going to blend that out again. This is the chunkiest blending brush ever. Oh, this eye blended actually really nice. We're going to go with that really orange. Okay, guys, the next shade I'm going to go in with is Red Skies. I'm going to go in with my not eyeshadow brush again. I remember once someone commented on Lee's video, you look like you've been punched in the eye. I was wearing red then. So I'm just gonna pat this on the edges of my eyes. Oh, this color. If you guys use any makeup bits from Primark and you actually find that it works really well, please comment down below because I would love to try out other bits. Oh, it's starting to look really dark now. Okay guys, now that that is all applied and blended, I want to go in with a bit of sparkle and then I want to kind of like smoke out the liner. So it's really dark on my lash line. I'm just gonna put this on the back of my hand guys like oh no oh no oh no what have i done this is going so well i'm gonna have to do it with the other eye just to make it look more even i'm really sad now guys because <laughs> I mean, it doesn't look amazing. It doesn't look good. It doesn't look bad. I'm gonna leave it at that before I do any more messing because I think it looks all right at the moment. Okay guys, now we're gonna go in with the foundation and I'm gonna go in with the darker one first just to see what that's like. It doesn't come with a pump. Okay, I'm just gonna put a tiny bit on the back of my hand. <gasps> that's not a tiny bit. That's not a tiny bit. I bought a beauty blender. It could have probably done with being mixed with the other one a little bit. Okay, that's really orange, guys. I'm gonna go in with the other color. This looks like it's gonna be a better color, but it does actually look really light. Oh, mixed together, it's a nice color. You've got to blend this really fast, guys. Right, guys, I'm not gonna go all the way up to my eyes, oh, but I think I'm just gonna have to leave it at that. I now have a contour stick in chai. It's a really dark, warm tone. I'm gonna go under the nose. It's really chunky, it's really thick. I'm gonna blend it in with this I do do contour before my concealer just because I feel like the concealer highlights everything. I'm not sure about the shade. It might be a little bit too dark. It was the only one I could find. My face feels like it's got about five inches of foundation on it right now. I am actually going to go in with the highlighter now. All right, I'm just going to go in with the lighter foundation see if this works. All I can say about this foundation, guys, it's just really thick. I like the sponge. I didn't actually think that sponge this affordable could work as good as a Real Techniques brush. This is literally the best I could do with the foundation. I've tried to blend it as the best I can. The only powder brush I could find was this very large one. Got the brush. It is huge. It is so soft though. This was four pounds, guys. I actually really like to have makeup brushes like this just so I can blend all of my face. Not that that's going to be happening today. This powder looks really thick. It's a loose powder, but it does actually, it doesn't look that loose. I always see people doing this video and the makeup afterwards looks so nice. Why is mine turned out like this? Guys, if you haven't made it this far into the video, make sure you comment down below what videos involving makeup you would like to see next because I would really like to create makeup videos for there's a hair on my chin. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. Also, my channel competition is still running on my first video, so don't forget to enter into that and good luck, guys. And I am done with the powder. I can't even tell you what my skin feels like right now. No way, I forgot on my highlighter. I got liquid highlighter. It's gonna have to go over the top. I bought this liquid highlighter. It was £2.50, so I'm quite excited about this. I've never used a liquid highlighter before. Oh, this is not gonna go over the top of powder. We'll try it on my nose, guys, because I didn't actually 
like put that much powder on my nose. I don't know. I don't know how I feel. I really love the concept. The texture of it is amazing. I think it'd look better underneath foundation. I'm going to try that underneath foundation and let you guys know. On my Instagram, which make sure you are following, I'm going to use the lightest shade in the eyeshadow palette mixed with the champagne colour I used on my eyes for highlight as I didn't actually buy a powder highlighter. I thought that the liquid one would work really well, but obviously it would have worked a lot better if I didn't put it on top of the powder. Let's see how... Oh, this is what this eyeshadow palette needed. This is how it needed its time to shine. These shades are beautiful for highlight. Wow, wow, wow. I'm actually really impressed. I really, really love that for highlight. I am going to rate this eyeshadow palette a good nine and a half out of ten. Okay, the next thing I am going to do is bronzer. I've probably done this in a re really weird order. And these bronzers are one pound each. It's the Bronze Glow Matte Bronzing Powder. They're both matte. Now, one is quite warm warm compared to the other so I'm gonna use the lighter and less warm one because I don't want to warm my skin up too much. I'm gonna use one of my Euphoria brushes. If you guys don't know what Euphoria is make sure you go and check them out on Instagram. It is mine and a close friend's official merchandise range. We actually have a massive sale on at the moment. We sell makeup brushes and pop sockets. Please go check them out. This actually looks like it's going to be a really nice bronzing shade. I'm gonna just go in under my nose and around my nose where I've contoured on my forehead. Wow! really nice and you know what it's not too powdery either okay guys that is blended to the best that i can blend it i don't think it sits well on this foundation but it is really really nice bronzing color so next i am moving on to blush i never ever 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 wore blush i hate a blush i am going to go in with a morphe brush Oh no! Oh, now I look like a garden gnome. I'm not gonna go hard on the blusher, it was only a pound. It is a nice shade. It'd probably sit nice on top of the foundation if I was using my own foundation. What have I done? Okay guys, next thing I am going to do is mascara. Now I'm actually really excited about this because if you guys haven't seen this packaging before, it is really similar to the Urban Decay mascara. This is such a thick wand. Oh, stop. Stop. Guys, this mascara is amazing. It really coats your lashes. I really wish that I had the Urban Decay one to compare it for you guys because I'm pretty sure that that one is in the £20 mark and this one was actually only £3 and it is really, really beautiful. Look at that. Oh, I love that. Next, I am going to start on the lips. Now, I had a little bit of a palaver with the lipstick. So, I picked up these two shades. Now, these are two nude shades. One is darker, one is lighter and these are apparently matte. They're 90p. They smell incredible in fact i think i'm just going to use this one guys let's see how this goes i don't love it okay we're gonna go in with the other shade guys just see what that one's like uh okay it's the exact same shade so the next thing i'm gonna go in with a gloss now they actually didn't have any nude gloss either i picked up the best shade i could find now obviously all of the shades were really lovely and pink and i really love the color pink now this is a gloss high gloss lightweight ultra shine lip gloss <gasps> This is really lovely. Okay, guys, now I have added the lip gloss. I'm actually quite liking the makeup look. It is something that I would wear for a night out. The only thing I would change is probably the thickness of the foundation and my eyebrows. Now, the last thing I have to do is put eyelashes on. I used to always get my lashes from Primark, so I kind of know what to expect. But these are the new four, four, four. Far Mink Lashes and it has glue included. Now I only really use Duo Lash Glue so I'm a little bit sceptical on this but we'll give it a go. They look super fluffy and I'm actually quite excited to put them on. Now I usually cut a tiny bit off of the short end and quite a lot off of the larger end. Put the glue on, not too much though. While this one's drying I'm just gonna pop some glue on the other one. <laughs> Give that a pinch. Oh no, it's stuck to my finger. Get off, get off, get off. On, oh, guys, this is. Oh my god, it's in my eye. Okay, that one is stuck down and it looks really, really stunning. I'm gonna go for the next one so that I can then give it an overall rating and I'm pretty sure my makeup will be done. Okay, guys, so we are done with the makeup and it isn't actually looking that bad that I can tell on camera. However, in person, Lee has just said it does look really thick and it's not that well blended, but I can't really change that just because of the foundation, the base. Always affects the way that the bronzer, the highlighter, the blusher is blended. 
blended but I probably wouldn't wear this day to day as it's just really thick and full on like I've said. I do actually really like the makeup for how much I've spent on all the products and I am really impressed with some of the products that Primark have created. I can't say that they are bad products, they just haven't worked well with how I have put them onto my skin and they haven't worked well with my skin. Obviously you guys go out and try them if you want to try them and let me know how you guys have found them. Overall I'm going to give my makeup a maybe a six and a half or a seven. I have really really enjoyed filming this for you guys and I hope you have enjoyed watching it. Let's see if we can get to 2,000 likes that would be absolutely incredible and don't forget to comment down below what makeup videos you would like to see. It would be amazing if you would go ahead and subscribe to my channel and I can hopefully give you guys more content like this. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye! It's too late, I need to go to bed.